What's the most difficult for them on the street is not that they don't have a bed, that they are sleeping on the cold and the rain, but it's the way we look at them. Or I will even say the way that we do not look at them. It is about a lot of dark and a homeless life, but I'm convinced that we can only see the light if it's dark outside. I felt that I need to do something for the society, but also do something with my paintings. So I'm painting for about 16 years now, but I very much learn myself and learning from other people are doing. But I always was frustrated because I didn't really feel that this is the case, that I, I can express myself. And with this project, I really feel that I find a way to say what I feel, to talk about stories. So the first idea was to paint their stories to sell the paintings and provide them with a financial help. But after all those connections that I had with him, I realized that even more important is to create awareness, changing the way we look at them, changing the way the society treat them. I was afraid to make a step, to go to someone and, and ask, how are you doing? The experience was that the person was afraid who I am to go and ask him, how are you doing? And I also realized how important it is to respect his feelings. He didn't want me to, to be there. It's the main value that I have when I connect with those people. If they do not want or feel in the moment, I'm just stepping back and go another day. And then another day it works because they are in a better day. So I met Marve. She's a social worker at, at Salvation Army in Utrecht. She was happy to meet me because I'm speaking Romanian, I'm Romanian, and there are a lot of Romanian people uh, in this situation. So she was, oh wow, you can help me as well. The weather is a lot better than other times <laughs> when we were outside. Way better that the first time we get to know Thomas and Raphael, right? It was a rainy day. <laughs> yeah. They were just waking up, I think. Yeah. And they were happy, right? Yeah. yeah. They were making jokes and they were happy to see us. And that's because of you. I mean, you, you were there enthusiastic and happy to talk about. <laughs> It's a touching story. They are originally from Poland, but they are saying that they feel at home here in Utrecht. In the cold, in the rain, they are all the time sleeping outside, but they feel at home. And listening to them and feeling what's important for them makes me realize what the life is about. It's about small things, simple things that we can value, appreciate in the moment. I, I can be the social worker because there is a really nice human with me on the street. So I can ask them the practical stuff like, when are you going to work? What are you doing? What are your plans? Because I know that there is a sensitive, loving, kind person next to me who can ask how they feel and what their dreams are. That's so strong that we can match those things together to help people or to be there for them, yeah. to see them. Actually, I wanted to help him to get a job and uh, 
he had an interview and then second one he didn't come anymore oh. he just disappeared and now he wanted to see me again to say apologize for this oh. say that yeah he had troubles and uh, how is that for you what i have is that i don't judge him it's hard it's choices that he's doing and hope that he will choose the best for for his life but yeah i feel he's struggling i feel the mission of my life I finally feel that I, I can express and do something meaningful for the society. I receive help for uh, multiple departments and then um, Stefan approved this, this, this project. So this is why it happens, because they all feel that it fits with the Rabobank values. That's we are a cooperative bank willing to do a better world together. It's not an art project, it's a human project. Victor is an artist. He's drawing wonderful composition and he has an universe in his soul and his, his, his mind and he's alone. He's alone in his universe and then the moments that we spend together, he's so happy to share this universe, to talk about his composition. What's special with his painting is that I use in the background one of his drawings and what we want to do is at the um, exhibition at Rabobank to put his drawing next to the painting. This is important for me and I feel important for him because it's his creation, it's his art. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> you, are, you are looking so good. How do you feel? Yeah, yes. oh, we're back in Hungary. Her name is Harriet. She's originally from Hungary. I met her in a mental health hospital. So the society see Harriet as being mentally unstable. But the thing is that when I spoke with her, she's so normal and she was so much love to give. She found this bird um, and uh, started to take care of it because he had a problem at the legs. And she bring it with her at the hospital, which is not allowed. She did everything to hide it and it was everything for her, this bird. She shared her love with and she received the same because the bird was so calm and happy to be there. Unfortunately, they found out. People just came and brutally asked, where is the bird? We need to take it off. And they did it without caring about what's the meaning, why this bird. They was able to see the bird, but not Harriet. They did not understand that for her was precious, this moment and this bird. In this painting, this is what I wanted to show, is that the world, do not see her. We see only the bird, but Harriet is there and she has so much to give. But are we able to let her be? I'm working on building a book with these messages um, because there are important messages in each painting. It's about a story, but also about a message. One of the most important messages is there to see, there to open your heart and see what happened around you. See the person which is next to you, your colleague, your friend, a homeless person. Where should we start? How should we create this change? And this is what is about this painting, which is not finished yet, but it will be the last painting of the exhibition, talking about loving yourself. You need to love yourself first in order to be able to open your heart. And from a homeless perspective, you can only do this if you feel confident that you can love yourself because people around you love you as well. Otherwise, it's impossible. So 
all those messages are linked together and and then the goal is to make us all understand where to start. We don't need an organization to do a miracle. The miracle is here in our heart. Oh, that's the conclusion.